안녕하십니까 유관재 목사입니다. 짐 콜린스는 Good to Great이라는 책에서 훌륭한 리더십이 발휘되는 기업의 공통적인 특징을 말하고 있는데요. 그중첫 번째가 일보다 사람이 먼저라는 것입니다. 사람이 먼저죠. 아, 요즘 언론을 뜨겁게 달궜던 어느 항공사 관련 이야기가 리더의 모습을 되돌아보게 하는데요. 기업만이 아니라 우리의 삶 속의 신앙 안에서도 좋은 것을 넘어 위대한 것으로 가기 위한 모습들은 어때야 할지 돌아봤으면 좋겠습니다. C채널 매거진 굿데이 오늘은 12월 10일 수요일입니다. 분쟁의 오랜 역사를 안고 있는 중동이지만 올해는 특별히 더 심각한 상황들이 많이 있었죠. 그러나 고통과 억압 가운데에도 하나님의 임재를 경험하는 사람들의 고백이 큰 도전을 주고 있습니다. 어떤 이야기인지 지금부터 만나보시겠습니다. 182,000 Yazidis have sought refuge in Kurdish cities, dwelling in abandoned office buildings like these. Just behind me are the mountains that lead to Turkey. Turkey is very close, just several kilometers away. And many of the Yazidis who have come here to the northern Iraqi city of Zako say they prefer to go to Turkey. That's because they say they can no longer live with Muslim Arabs. This refugee spent eight days trapped on Sinjar Mountain. He's a recent Christian convert, so we're protecting identity. Shamo says he witnessed terrorists kill 170 Yazidi men, then take their wives and daughters away to be sold or used as sex slaves. He says he wants nothing to do with Islam because of ISIS and the atrocities committed by Muslims he once considered friends. Shamo says he was attracted to Christianity because of the kindness and generosity of Christians. Uh, I can say only one word about the difference between Islam and the Christianity. The, the difference is the, the distance between earth and sky and heaven. We're thinking every day why we are not behaving just like the Christians. We really saw a real humanity in their life. Feeling betrayed by Arab Muslims, the Yazidi refugees are looking to the Kurds and Christians for help. We're here to show that you have not been abandoned. Knowing that many Yazidis died on Mount Sinjar, um, lacking clean water, we have taken the initiative to bring water tanks to the Yazidi people so that they would have water on a daily basis in order to drink and survive. CBN provided eight tanks, doubling the number of existing water tanks for nearly 4,000 refugees living in these unfinished office buildings. We've heard that you are in need of blankets. <laughs> these blankets are gifts and relief from, for the, to the Yazidi people from the church in America and from American believers. And people are thinking of you and praying to God for you. Shamo is thankful and ask that American Christians continue to assist and pray for the Yazidis. Please pray, pray for the Yazidis people so as to come to Christ just like me. Changed hearts and lives as CBN partners bring blankets and clean water for life, living water for eternity. And we do these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Of course, I gather that story in late summer when the temperature exceeded 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, as winter is setting in, it's getting much colder. At night, it can get below freezing. And hundreds of thousands of displaced people are now in need of warm clothing, of coats and blankets. And I'm inspired and thankful for those Christian relief groups that are not only following the biblical mandate, to feed and clothe the poor, but also are reaching out to demonstrate the love of Christ, providing them with spiritual relief. And as a result, many are coming to Christ, like that young man, Shamo, who now says he wants to be an evangelist.